Early golf balls were made by stuffing feathers into a leather sack or by molding latex from gutta percha trees. Most modern balls begin as a block of rubber, which forms the solid core. These peg-like pieces are molded into their final round form. Automated equipment puts the core in between the halves of the cover, where it's brought to a press and molded together. That's when the specific dimple pattern of each model is imprinted on the ball. From there, the balls get stamped and painted and are ready for distribution. More than 850 million golf balls are manufactured each year. That's nearly one per person for all of North and South America combined. When a golf ball is hit, three things that happen to it. Speed, velocity, it gets an angle of, of launch, and it gets backspin. The backspin is vital to the way it, it goes through the air because it actually flies through the air. It's actually creating lift as it goes through, and the spin really helps do that. Without the dimples, none of that would happen. The first time they really notice that is when those original golf balls, the wood ones, the featheries, the gutta percha golf balls, when they would get nicked up in play, they would notice as they got older and more nicked up, they would fly better. And someone went, oh, you need to actually put something on the surface to make it fly well. And that's when they started molding dimples. There's a layer of air very close to the surface of a golf ball. And the dimple patterns change the behavior of that layer of air. And the process of that layer of air going from a very orderly, laminar-like state to a turbulent state is controlled by the dimples. And that's critical to controlling the flight of the ball. Adding dimples actually optimizes flight and changing edge angles by half a degree, changing depths by a few thousandths of an inch, can change the peak trajectory of a shot by six, seven yards. If you start going to ridiculously large numbers of dimples, they have to get very small. Say a thousand very small dimples is getting more like a smooth ball. The dimples are becoming too small to have the effect that they're supposed to have. If you have too few dimples on the ball, they get very large. At some point, it starts to affect the way the ball rolls. We found that anything between 300 and 500 seems to work reasonably well.